What's up guys, this is Gabe from S&P Speed Innovations and uh, it's a Saturday here at the shop. We got Nick behind us and then over there we got Chino. What's up Chino? Living the dream. So um, today we're doing some ring filing on this uh, 22 hour motor here and the guys are working on the uh, the two trucks for Toyota Fest. So I've been trying to do a video to do like a, an official announcement for Toyota Fest but I guess this is it. Uh, well. Officially, we are now locked in 100% for Toyota Fest. We are going to build uh, two shop trucks of our own. We have an 85 uh, two-wheel drive pickup truck that's lowered. We have an 81 that's four-wheel drive, a small lift on it, and we're doing a 5EZ turbo engine build for that. The 22R is getting an engine build right here, and uh, we're doing a little something special. Not a whole lot of power to, to start with, but the... Um, the uh, the 22 hour engine with the truck and everything completely the way it's going to be in the uh, in, in Toyota Fest is going to be very unique and to give you a little bit of a hint in this picture in this frame at this moment there's going to be some items that we are going to be releasing as a product reveal so if you're curious zoom in see what we can find out let me flip this camera around we'll talk with the guys all right now that we got the camera flipped around here this is the 85 Toyota pickup truck lowered standard fenders not four-wheel drive kind of like what we have on that sexy thing over there we do have some meshies we're going to do something special with the meshies um we have another really nice clean set of uh, crown vicks we're gonna do some powder coating on the inside and we're gonna um polish the rims uh this whole thing will get a, a patina finish and i'll let the guys take it from here so chino nick what are we doing what we already did. Okay, what do we? What, we already what you did. did? Yeah, what you did? Uh, we stripped everything off this off this block as much as we not could, but just did to make it easy, facilitate the removal. We pulled the two hoods on both these trucks, clean the underside of them, nothing but caked with oil and all kinds of good stuff. So, yeah, just getting it prepped, ready for uh, cleaned up. Pull the engine, and uh, just taking it one day at a time, one step at a time. I already made a bunch of progress, so we're doing good. Nice. Now this is the one we had running in a video a couple of weeks ago. Drove it from yeah. over there to over here. It's the first time I ran in like almost two years, yeah. year and a half, something like that. So I had a blown head gasket for a while, so I had some milkshake going on, which turned into a slush, which actually turned into a goop. Oh, yeah. um, we put some head gasket sealer in it, just because why not, let's see what happens. It turns out it turned it into something thicker than pudding. So that was pretty neat. And uh, Nick, why don't you tell us about what's going on with the 85? Well, with the 85, we got no motor in it, obviously. Um, it's going to be getting the 5EZ with swapped in it. We got the hood pulled off, actually put back on earlier. All wiped down, cleaned up a lot better than what it was. Uh, right now, it's just frame rails until we get the motor, motor mounts put in to get everything swapped over. Nice. Now, as they sit right now, they don't look very pretty. But we do have a brand new set of Vision wheels upstairs. They're bead locks. They're a, a dark bronze center and, or are they bronze all the way around? Or a polish lip? Dark polish bronze lip. center and I believe a black bead lock. Oh, a black bead lock and a, and a bronze, dark bronze center. So that's going to be pretty sexy. And um, this one, we talked about the Crown Vic wheels. Um, we'll have something a little fancy going on right in this area and that area and maybe some of that area too. And if we get really, really carried away, there might be something sexy going on over there too. But uh, the plan is is to, uh, we're gonna get this a lot lower than what it is, change the wheels out, um, do a, a, a clear glassy patina on this one. On that one over there, we will remove the gray, get a clear glassy patina on that. Um, we're gonna touch up the in engine bays, and make them look really, really Gucci. Um, paint the frame rails and glossy everything. And yeah, the whole, the whole JDM thing, right? Oh, yeah. Did you just say Gucci? <laughs> Gucci, that's right, Gucci. Gucci. So, anything else, guys? Stop using Gucci. You don't like Gucci? What's wrong with Gucci? Because I'm showing my age. Your age or mine? Both. Okay. All right, anything else, Nick? No, that's other than moving along. It's going. All say right. Gucci one more time. <laughs> Gucci. Gucci. All right, let me flip this camera around. All right, so that's it. This is the official announcement for uh, Toyota Fest. SMP Spin Innovations will be at Toyota Fest. We will have a, uh, a booth in a vendor aisle. Uh, not sure exactly where in a, in a vendor aisle, but try to keep it somewhere close to the food booth because, you know, 
we're fat, we need food. Um, we are going to have a uh, 10 by a 10 by 20 booth with two cars. Um, the 85, we're just looking at the brown truck or the red truck, whatever your argument is on that one. Um, that's going to be in the booth on one side. And on the other side will be a Celica, unless that changes. Up to at this point right now, it'll be a 71 Celica with the 3RZ turbo in it, which is a pretty sexy car. He is fighting with a few things. Hopefully we can get it sorted out and hopefully it makes it there in time. Um, otherwise, if not, then we'll put our 81 in there. Uh, we also have 100% confirmation that um, Cameron Klensky with his beautiful 89 uh, gunmetal gray four-wheel drive truck that he built, him and his dad built in his garage to frame up restoration. Um, they did a uh, powder coated frame. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. It's been all over social media for quite some time now, quite a few years. Uh, it's a very beautiful truck. So the plan is to have him parked next to my 81. And then we're going to have James Coleman parked on the other side of it. James Coleman just finished up his, um, I think it's a 90-ish 90, 90 uh, Toyota pickup truck, all tube chassis, or mostly tube chassis. I think it's maybe has stock frame rails underneath the cab, but it's a 1450 with a 5EZ and a supercharger. And uh, he just took this thing. We got, got it running, driving, tuned right before King of the Hammers. He took it to King of the Hammers. There's some social media content going out with him, just jumping this thing and having all kinds of fun and, and having a blast. A super, super fresh truck, so it's going to look good as a race truck sitting next to our two trucks. Uh, might well next to our shop truck and then Cameron Klinsky. So, um, and then we're going to have uh, Justin Poole. He's got a uh, third gen MR2 with a built 1ZZ and a Haltech Elite. 550 if I'm not mistaken turbo um, real neat car beautiful car has been working on it for a long time a lot of neat stuff on it your body kit everything's super cool on it so that'll be in the um, in the moto section so anyway this is official video this is the release uh, we'll have more uh, information going on this is why we've been doing the engine cleaning and the engine block and the crankshaft and all that stuff for the engine build so um, we'll have more videos as it comes We'll keep you posted, so stay tuned.